Hello and welcome to another edition of Bronco Talk Sports Totally Soccer Edition. My name is Christian Manukin, and with me is our analyst Kevin Martinez. Lots of Premier League football to talk about. Spurs and Liverpool with an amazing game 2-2. We'll talk about that. We're also going to talk about Arsenal destroying Everton. Can they keep that type of form? And then we're going to finish off talking about Chelsea losing 4-1 to Watford and talk about some of the players that Chelsea have once had that really struggled under under Chelsea and then went elsewhere and really prospered. So let's start talk about, talking about Liverpool and, and Tottenham. 2-2, if you saw this game on your Score Center app and you just saw 2-2, You'd think, okay, it's kind of exciting, but whatever. But there was a lot of controversy surrounding this game, particularly the two uh, the, the penalties that were given, one against Kane that he missed, the second against Lamella that Kane eventually scored, which was the tying, tying goal in the 93rd minute or something like that. What do you think of those decisions? Uh, I think they're bad decisions. Um, I don't think they're penalties at all. Actually, the first one, Kane was offside before he got the ball, so I feel like the play should have been ended right there. And the other one, it's the players looking at the ball the whole time, and La, La Mella comes out of nowhere, and as soon as he hits the ball, or about to hit the ball, La Mella just gets in front of him, which there's nothing the defender can do at that point. Yeah, so it I felt deliberate. It yeah, felt deliberate. So I feel like video replay should be used in situations like that. Just to illustrate, for those of you who haven't seen the game, the first penalty was given when Harry Kane went through on goal. He was in an offside position, and there was some debate as to whether a Liverpool player touched the ball or not. It's very hard to tell from the camera angles, but he went through on goal, and he tapped the ball around the Liverpool goalkeeper, Loris Karius, and there was no contact. Really, there was no contact from what I saw, from what you saw. Yeah. Uh, but they awarded the penalty, because in, in a split second when you're watching that in real time, I could see how it would be a penalty. And then the second penalty that was given was Virgil van Dijk, one of Liverpool's defenders, was about to try to clear a ball out, and Eric Lamella, one of the Spurs midfielders, just kind of ran in front of him, right into the path of his leg that was swinging. And again, he didn't touch him. You can very clearly see that in the replay. And so again, we talked about VAR video replay last week. There was a crazy moment on the British match of the day where they, they subtitled the two referees that were there talking about the incident, and he says, you know, I don't know if it's a penalty, like, do we have anything from the TV? And they're like sitting and talking and he's like, I don't know, I'm just going to give it. And so he gave the penalty and he didn't know. So this, this kind of brings in that topic of video replay, which I told you is contentious. It still is contentious and it will continue to be contentious. Um, something that wasn't contentious though was Arsenal 5, uh, Everton 1. Arsenal destroyed them. Mkhitaryan had three assists and Aubameyang making his debut got a beautiful chip goal. Can they, can they sustain that type of form? into the end of the season and on? Um, I think they can. I think the addition to them is very great. Definitely they can make their team stronger and more depth now that they have Lacazette and Aubameyang and two good forwards. I believe um, changing the environment there is good. Like Alexis Sanchez had a very good career in Arsenal, but bringing in new players, fresh players that want to prove something in a higher league, I believe, I think it would be a great, great yeah, thing for them. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think I'm an Arsenal fan, so I guess I'm kind of biased talking about <laughs> this, but Militarian kind of struggled at Manchester United where he was incredible at Dortmund so you wonder he's had that skill and it was uh, you know kind of stifled at Manchester United now he's back at Arsenal but we're talking about players that have switched switched teams in the past and gone on to be great again uh, we're, we're thinking Chelsea because Chelsea have had a ton of players that have not been good at Chelsea like we named Salah, De Bruyne, Lukaku, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Kennedy who's now at Newcastle, Juan Cuadrado, Falcao I mean, the list goes on. And they lost 4-1 at Watford yesterday night, as a matter of fact. And you just wonder, what is the issue there? Why are they not playing well? Is it something having to do with the managers, or is it a different, deeper issue? Uh, I think it's more of a tactical issue for them. I feel like the players they attract are very talented players, but I feel the style of play that Chelsea has always developed is more of a defensive style than a full-on attack style. So I feel like those players can't really adjust to more defensive because they're more of an offensive player, more players that want to be on the ball than instead of playing defense. Yeah. So I feel that's what makes a big difference for those players. And they honestly don't have too many reinforcements. If you look yeah. at their bench at the moment, they, they, they have Morata, they got Giroud in terms of attack, but Hazard has played so many minutes and the guy is like exhausted, you know? Yeah. There's, there's no one really that you can replace him with. Um, and you just wonder, some of those players that are there now, if they're not doing too well, maybe it's not them. It's something that's going on within Chelsea. So 
some interesting things happening there. The next Premier League round of fixtures begins on Saturday and we'll run through, I believe, Monday is the last game, so you have to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, this has been another edition of Broncos Talk Sports. We'll see you soon.